Team World, today I'm showing you some of the pagination built into SUP. And pagination is extremely important uh, because we expect SUP collections to grow uh, to be very large, uh, even, you know, past into the thousands. There are currently some NFT collections that are around 10,000, and actually 10,000 is the max on most NFT collections. But SUP was designed uh, using uh, seek iterators uh, in, the in the data collection that it uh, gathers. Basically, when SUP is indexing your uh, your blockchains in real time or at request when you try to uh, uh, call for it for a, for a file to be generated, <clears throat> it is doing so in a way that allows it to be later uh, uh, iterated through with an with an iterator. Basically, it's it's using uh, caching and level DB and a few other technologies to do that. And that's important. Uh, and for an example, I've been using Twitter since 2009. And in that time, my Twitter account has grown to be about 50,000 items. However, when I go to Twitter and, and my screen loads, those first 20 that it shows me uh, are actually come to me in just a few seconds. And that's the same type of behavior that we want SUP to have. So throughout the entire SUP uh, solution, there's pagination built in. And so I'm going to demonstrate some of that today. That was a lot of talking. <laughs> First of all, we're going to search for my name, E-M-B-I-I -I for you. And you can see it went out. It found an address so associated with that profile, and it found 30 uh, records, and it gave us the first nine. There could have been 10,000 here, and it would have the same type of speed. Uh, let's say that I want to jump to someplace more in the middle of the list. I've grabbed this uh, scroll bar, and when you let go, it takes you to the new area. Now we're at number 14. And no matter how big this list is, you can quickly drag over to the end of it uh, and see what's there, uh, or anywhere in the middle. Uh, and it's gonna the seek time is going to be roughly about the same time. And through our uh, workbench, you can see that the seek time on these calls is around seven milliseconds, which is pretty extraordinary. And we want to try to keep it at that. Uh, the amount of objects that it shows is dependent on the size of your screen. Uh, so we're seeing nine now because we have a small window. If I increase the size of my screen, you'll see more objects. But if I do that, my recording software will stop working. <laughs> so here is the so that's a basic demonstration of some of the seek seeking into uh, your search. Uh, there's also multiple modes here for seek. Uh, so if you double click on this uh, slider bar, it will switch between three different modes. So we'll try that now. This is the default mode, which is just thumbnail views of the icons. <clears throat> so now I double clicked, you can see that everything expanded. And now I'm re receiving some, some uh, descriptions, creator information, a little bit more information. Uh, also, I'm getting a little uh, trash box that allows me to delete these things that uh, I might not want to have on my local cache. You can do that from here. Uh, double clicking again takes you into this expanded mode, which forced my screen recording software to stop. So I'm, I'm, I'm splicing these videos together. And in this expanded mode, you have more information available with each of the objects. And also it uh, is showing you, instead of just the thumbnails, it will actually show you the high resolution, the generated objects. So depending on uh, when, you know, the first time that you review something, if you open it up in the expanded mode, It'll take some time to uh, be building all of these items because generally you are building one at a time. But in the expanded mode, uh, whatever your selection uh, entry is, is going to build the the, the actual ob object data uh, kind of in real time. So if you have uh, 10 different uh, IPFS uh, files that are all 2.1 gigabytes, when you do this search, uh, you might want to come might want to come back in a half hour, uh, and then all of your uh, all of those files will have been downloaded from IPFS and will have been cached locally. And then when you when you look at it again, uh, it will be there in just uh, seven, you know, just in a few milliseconds. But the first uh, time that you look at an object, it has to cache it. After that, it checks the object's block height, which is something that you can see if you click on this uh, little magnifying glass here. Ooh, actually, you have to see it in the expanded mode, uh, which is another layer higher above this, but you have to go into the 
expanded mode. And so in the expanded mode, you can see, again, we have the pagination uh, for the messages. Here is an example of messages coming in on this uh, MP3 that I put out on Bitcoin testnet. Uh, this, Bitcoin, this has been on Bitcoin testnet since 2016. And the thumbnail that it's using, you can see, was placed onto Bitcoin production in 2014. And here is the process site that I was explaining. Uh, so this particular object, 94 transactions has, has uh, come through on it. Uh, so we'll open up the details panel. So you can see that 94 of them came in. However, uh, it only showed me the first uh, 20. Uh, now when I click on it again, <clears throat> it's going to load 20 more in. And then I can just kind of keep scrolling through all of the provenance information. Uh, beginning with the most recent one toward to the end. The keywords down here, well, this list will continue to fill in, for, uh, showing all the keywords uh, associated with it. Clicking on any of them actually opens up a search uh, window to bring you the results that uh, it found for that keyword. So if there's more than one Dogecoin uh, associated with the keyword, you're going to see all the objects associated with that. Uh, and then the pagination of the of the comments is also available. And also, uh, the oh, what I've just realized is we currently do not have pagination on the owner or creators box. So if there's a thousand here, you're just going to have to wait for the thousand to load for now. <laughs> but right now, uh, we're not too worried about that one. Uh, I think that's the only two areas that aren't paginated. The oh, the creators list here, which is generally no more than a, a handful. This is why we didn't uh, do that. And then the creators list here, which we've tested to 100 is pretty quick. Uh, past 100, you, you know, you might start having to wait here. So we'll consider paginating this list uh, once we uh, start seeing the pain uh, people feel in this area. All right. Uh, just to let this uh, play out, I'm going to give you a 30 seconds of Outer Space by MB for your listening pleasure.